What up, peeps? Welcome to day three of 31 days of that Horrorween. Hello, Wiki. Horrorween is what I watched. David Cronenberg Shivers. A cult favorite. Shivers is a acclaimed filmmaker David Cronenberg's feature length debut. When the residents of a luxury apartment complex outside Montreal are infiltrated by parasites and transformed into violent sex crazed maniacs, it's up to Dr. Roger St. Luke to contain the outbreak from spreading to the city at large in a film that scares and shocks us because it's so cleverly made. This is uh, David Cronenberg's debut film. I watched this. I streamed it before I went and bought the Blu-ray and I wasn't that uh, impressed with it. I was kind of like, what the fuck is this? But in the end I still ran up and grabbed it because it's Festron and these are usually $30 and they're cool like Screen Factory and have a bunch of special features. I watched it a second time and appreciated it a little more. It's uh, pretty weird and crazy. Got these, uh, it's, uh, some scientists in this building was experimenting with something. I forget what he intended for the worms, but they kind of like the worms in Night of the Creeps and Slither. They get inside your body, but the weird thing about them is they make you want to have funky playtime or whatever. Fuck, they want to have sex, which is odd. They see somebody start running toward them, wanting to kiss on them and stuff. And, uh... The main character is this dude, the doctor and his nurse. Who, like, is in love with him, but he's just like, yeah, whatever. He doesn't dislike her, but he's not into her that much. But they're the main two characters that are all through the movie, and then the other... It focuses on this guy and his wife. He seems to be the first guy to get that parasite. And anyway, it's like an apartment complex. It's like uh, got everything you would ever need in it. The whole be like the beginning of the movie is a big old infomercial about it. They got their own doctors and everything you would need, so you would never really need to leave the place. And that bug starts off with like this one dude or. And it starts transferring from person to person. <coughs> and by the end of the movie, they escape and they're all in a row in cars leaving, I guess, to infect the whole fucking world with their crazy, sexy, slithery worm. It's uh, funny and it's not really funny, but it's odd film. It's a, it's an okay, decent watch. It's kind of like Night of the Creeps, Slither, uh, and the Crazies all rolled up together. But, um, yeah, and, uh, I got from the special features, uh, if I can remember right, he first tried to get this distributed with a softcore porn company called Cineplex or Cine something. I had notes but I left it a little note but I left it in the living room. And then um, his original name for this was going to be like Blood Orgy of the Sex Orgy of the Blood Parasite or some crazy shit. And then America was calling it They Came From Within but somehow it got back to being called Shivers. That was all messy. I had this little note and I left it in the living room. But, uh, yeah. For a horror fan, I'd say it's worth checking out if you haven't seen it. It's a decent watch. It's just something new, something different that the average horror fan hasn't seen before. That's why I was like, I wouldn't say I'm completely average, but I had never watched it and I didn't. I was like, what the fuck is this? But on the second viewing, I appreciated it more in this decent little film. Shivers is what I watched. Peace.